I've been working on a project that needed some pretty intense queries based on geolocation, so where any user is at any given point on a map, as well as their location relative to specific endpoints, and also just locations on a map. So whether that be other users or landmarks. And MongoDB was the perfect choice for that. But that also meant me having to figure out how to set up MongoDB on my local environment, specific to Mac OS, specific to Laravel Herd. And I ran into a little bit of difficulties, and that's why I'm making this video, to be able to show you how I set up MongoDB on my Mac OS machine locally using Laravel Herd. Now, following these examples on the MongoDB docs to install the community edition everything works really well so xcode install if that's not already installed you brew tap this mongodb brew do the brew update that usually takes a good 20 30 minutes and then brew install mongodb community 7.0 and this also installs like the mongodb shell as well now this is where things get and a little trickier when you're trying to run services within Mac OS. If you're using Docker, of course, this gets a lot easier. I don't use Docker. I use Laravel Herd, and I wanted to figure out how do I have Herd recognize the specific PHP extension. And if you're familiar with PHP extensions, I have not other than just one small PHP extension I needed a little bit back, but that was not even available on my local machine right now. Usually, if you follow all of these steps and then you use something like DB Engine to start your MongoDB service, or you just even use the brew service start MongoDB, then everything should be good to go if you use PHP Artisan Serve. Everything works fine. But I like those fancy development testing URLs within Laravel Herd, so I had to figure out how do I make Herd recognize this extension? And Herda even has these docs on their website. To install a PHP extension, use this PECL, PECL, I think that's how you pronounce it, PECL install, and then you would do, I think it's just MongoDB. And then it shows up in this specific extension path to based on your PHP version. Now, here's where I got a little tricked up. That worked great if I was using PHP 8.3, which I think it automatically pulls in the Peckle installation for MongoDB based on the most recent PHP version. That works great, but I, most of my projects are in PHP 8.2. Some of them are even H, PHP 8.1. And Laravel Herd is great for being able to switch simply between PHP 8.2, PHP 8.3, PHP 8.1. So how do I make Laravel Herd figure this out? Of course, if you're following these instructions, then this PHP docs for installing the MongoDB PHP driver is going to be perfect for you. I did all of that. Everything worked great, again, for one specific PHP version. Now, I did a little digging, and I couldn't specifically find the information I needed to use Peckle to install specific version of PHP within these docs, the extension version. But this number right here, this number right here is actually going to be the version of PHP that you're using. And so this looks like PHP probably 8.29 is would be my guess just on the numbers themselves. And if you're use if you try to use that file in PHP 8.3, for example, or PHP 8.1, it's going to throw an error. So, how do we fix this? The solution I came to was after finding some information on Stack Overflow was using Brew to install Peckle extensions. So this fantastic repo, and I'm going to link it in the comments, is in the description, I should say, is BrewTap Shivamathur Extensions. And now you just do MongoDB, and then you can do a PHP version. Okay, and so it looks like after you install, let's say, MongoDB at 8.2 or at 8.1, or whichever versions of MongoDB you needed for a specific PHP version, you can see here that I have a whole bunch of stuff in this is the slash opt slash homebrew slash opt folder. 
And then we can see that we have MySQL and then MongoDB 8.2 is the one that I installed. Now you're going to take that path and then in this folder is actually going to be a mongodb.so file or document. And that is the document that we need to insert into our php.ini per Laravel herds instructions. If you go to our Laravel herd and you select the open configuration files, what you're going to see is your PHP versions that you have installed through Laravel herd. 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. Each one is going to have an INI file based on the version that you're selecting in Laravel herd. So if I select PHP 8.2, which is the one I need, and I open up this PHP INI file, I see that we have this extension saved here. So that way, anytime I open up or use the Laravel herd services, and I had to stop and then restart all Laravel herd services, and that seemed to work just fine. And after I got that PHP INI file saved, then everything just worked as I expected. I had the local version running. I could see it in, in MongoDB Compass, for example, to, to pull that up. I was using DB Engine to start that MongoDB service, the brew service that I installed, and using that brew PHP extension extension repo that I linked in the description, then I was able to use this Laravel MongoDB driver to start using MongoDB within Laravel. Basically, you just add it on to a model and then you're good to go. So yeah, if you're running into any issues installing PHP extensions specifically for different versions within Laravel Herd, let me know if there's an easier way to do it than I did, but this is the way that worked best for me. I don't necessarily know if there was a way to do it within the Peckle install for specifically for 8.1 or 8.2 or 8.3 version of PHP. But using that, that PHP extension repo to install those extensions via Homebrew, everything worked great for me after that. So hopefully this helps you and have a great day.